Hello students, in this video we're going to sort our trees from largest to smallest. And so in order to do that, uh, we are going to take a look at our recently copied and pasted, but only pasting the values. And we're going to click on the letter E, highlight over to the F, and that way we've got both columns sorted together. If you only click one column or the other, you risk um, the numbers and the names getting all mixed up and I've had that happen before by accident it's not fun um, under uh, sorry we need to find the data tab across the top of the ribbon so this area is called the ribbon we're gonna click the data tab and somewhere around here you're gonna find a button called sort when you click on that it's gonna pop you open a little pop-up window which uh, right off the bat you can see my data does indeed have headers the headers are tree type and count uh, which you can see right here in the first row. So we're going to leave the headers and then where it says sort by we're going to click on the drop down menu and you can choose to sort by tree type or by count. Um, I already said from the beginning I don't want to sort by tree type because that would just be an alphabetical list that wouldn't matter to me but count is much more interesting. I'm going to sort by count and there's a bunch of cell values and I could choose smallest to largest. I'm going to I'm going to go with that for right now but that would be a mistake. I shouldn't choose that one. So if I chose that one and I click OK, these are all sorted like, oh, look, there's one cherry plum and one choke cherry and one northern white cedar and on and on it goes. So it's not really what I'm looking for. So let's highlight that again. If you still have your window open, you're going to just do it the right thing the first time. So again, we're still sorting by count. And this time, instead of smallest to largest, we're going to click largest to smallest and click OK. Now I can see right up here at the top, uh, I've got some really big numbers. All of those are over a thousand. The Norway maple, the red maple, sugar maple, linden, green ash, and red oak. Um, and the Norway maple even has 3,753 trees, which is pretty impressive. And red maple is right behind it with 2,515. Um, just because as you get down in the numbers, uh, when you get down to the ones, it might be a little annoying for people to be reading through some of these. And they don't really appear to be, so for the 16s, they don't really appear to be in any order. So let's go back up to the top and let's make our sort a little bit more complex. So if I, again, highlight the E, drag over to the F, I've already got the sort button just right handy in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a level. And by adding a level, now we can sort by tree type. So now there'll be at least a little alphabetical sorting once you get down into the lower numbers that we don't really care about too much. And sorting from A to Z is perfectly fine. So the count is still going to be the first sort, and so everything is still going to be sorted by the numbers. But if the numbers are equal, then it's going to sort by tree type. Okay, so let me click this OK. And then we can go down, and as we go down, this, this is all exactly the same. We have to kind of go down to where some of the numbers are the same. And now with the 16s, I was just using the 16s as an example, I now comes first, then the N for Norway, then two S's, and SC comes before SI. So that's how it's sorting alphabetically. We didn't have to think about that. We didn't have to worry about it. We just had to make sure that we verified that it had done the right thing. And uh, by the way, if you come down here to the fives and the fours and the ones, they're all there. It still goes to 126 different types of trees. Come back up to the top. Um, I'm just going to recolor this, and instead of green, I'm going to choose blue this time, just to make it a little more obvious. How about that shade of blue? There we go. So this is all sorted now, and it's ready for our next activity in the next video.